what is sea star wasting disease? Well, it's a disease we're seeing amongst about 20 species of sea stars um, up and down the west coast where the sea stars, they begin to develop ulcers on the uh, dorsal surface of their body. Um, their bodies tend to fill up with fluid and then they begin, the, um, the arms begin to degrade or ulcerate and then ultimately fall off. And then the animal actually begins to just um, almost dissolve away. Here in Newport, we actually saw it a little bit later than everybody else. We were getting reports both south and north of us from our colleagues at different aquariums and other veterinary staff and researchers that they were seeing some weird phenomenon and huge, massive, expansive die-off of all kinds of species of sea stars. Sea star wasting syndrome from an animal health point of view was very overwhelming because we were dealing with a huge number of sick and ill animals and we had no idea what we were dealing with. It was kind of a mystery disease at that point. So this guy right here, this is a healthy ochre sea star. You can see that he has five um, symmetrical arms and if he was spread all out, kind of makes a perfect star. This little guy right here is a survivor of sea star wasting syndrome. You can see that he does have five arms. However, two of them are certainly stunted in growth and has much more of an asymmetrical appearance. And that's pretty typical of the animals that we have here that have survived sea star wasting syndrome. They have a... Um, inability to regenerate as they normally would had they lost their limb from trauma. Heather Renee Sirstadden, who was uh, our veterinary student uh, last summer, she joined us as an intern and so she took on working on sea star wasting disease as a project and her goal was to begin to develop a technique where we could examine the blood of these animals and maybe use changes in the the blood to get a clue when these animals were beginning to get sick. Drawing blood from a sea star is very different than a mammal. Their blood is actually clear. Um, there's not a red blood cell or a pigmented cell like you would see in a mammalian species. So far we're looking for normals. Um, so to find something we have to have something to compare against. So because that's not anything that has existed before, we've worked very closely with the Oregon State University's College of Veterinary Medicine Diagnostic Lab and um, Dr. Sue Turnquest to create a normal panel or a basic panel so that we could run and screen to find those abnormals. With the sea star wasting syndrome panel, or essentially the normal sea star panel that we've made for the specific species of ochre sea stars, we hope to be able to sample sea stars when they're exhibiting different categories of wasting and be able to add a diagnostic component to that beyond just the gross physical appearance that we see, similar to what you would do in any other species in veterinary or human medicine. And the idea is that once we have these normal values, then we can use that to compare against animals that we think might be developing a disease and use that as an early, a clue for early detection of the disease. Hopefully at that point we would be able to administer possibly some prophylactic treatment and or reduce their, reduce their stress level and get them into a place where we can boost their immune systems enough that they can fight off any infection they may be facing themselves. Mm -hmm.